connector, which is very common, is called the F connector. This is what you use on your television in your house to go from your antenna. And do I have F connectors? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I want to do the same thing again. Here's my F connector. I'm going to take my stripper. Same as we did before. And I'm going to twist it like this. This may seem like something everybody's done before, but somebody, somebody may not know how to do it, so I'm showing you. And I'm pulling that off, the insulator. And this is just one time. This is a compression fit. But not everybody, you know, uses that. They have cramp fittings. And you saw I'm straightening this, this center connector out. And I'll put it in here and slide it in. You see, I've got my little tip of my conductor right in there. So I'm going to take my compression tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compress it again. And this one needs to be compressed a little more so I have to adjust it. so that it will compress it all the way. Oops. And we'll get some close-ups of this on the web page. And there we are. A perfectly done F connector on a wire. So I'm going to pass that around. I'm going to cut this up here, so each of us has a chance to do it. I'm going to pass around the stripper, the compression tool, and a diagonal cutter. And don't be upset if it doesn't turn out as easy as it looked the first time. But that gives you all something to, to you know, experiment with. Sometimes they have a little piece of insulator stuck in them. I made it look easy. It may not be as easy when you try it. And that's just one way. That's called a compression fitting. Sometimes they have print fittings. Sometimes they have screw-on fittings. <coughs> and I want to pass let that, let that pass. Everybody take a chance and build yourself a connector. That way, if you're ever at your house uh, and you need to get a connection done from your wall to your television, now you know how to do it. Okay.
Okay, now the next one I'm going to talk about is also a very common connector, and that's an Ethernet connector. An Ethernet connector is a connector that's like your phone jack that goes from your computer to your modem, or if you're building a LAN, a local area network, you use this to go uh, in your LAN connections from computer to computer. And um, we go over here to this one. If you're looking at the connector, <coughs> now the best way to remember these is to go to the internet and look it up. I'm going to give you the wiring colors for what's called an RJ45 connector. <coughs> and that means I've got my connector here, and I'm going to have eight wires that go in that connector. Here comes the wires in the back, and then they're going to span out. So I have one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six, seven, eight wires. Okay? Looking at the top, and you have to double check me on that on the internet. The first one is green white and white. The next one's green. Look it up on the internet, that's the way I always do, because I forget. Yellow, white. The next one is blue. The next one is blue, white. And it cuts all these wires off on the outside. 
or at least it gets the way you can break them off. And you have a connector on there. Isn't that exciting? Pass that around. Thank you.